No. He was he was like trying to flex on me because he knew it was already over. Yeah, that one. He was just playing comfortable. Yeah. At that point, he knew he could. So why not? All right, here we got Kimchi versus Valadin. It's Lucina Valadin versus the Inkling of Kimchi. All right. Probably like one, a pretty even matchup, yeah. Definitely even, if not maybe slight inkling win, I think. Perhaps. She Just has the speed. and uh, She has speed. She gets in Lucina's face. And Lucina can't edge guard, which is one of the main reasons why she's so good at killing sometimes. Oh, yeah, Lucina, yeah. yeah. It'll be hard for her in this matchup because yeah. I don't know. it doesn't have a hitbox on the recovery, but it's still hard to catch. The um, Wait, which which up be? Lucina or inkling? Uh, inkling. So inkling, what always gets me when I play this matchup, is the hitbox that's on startup and on landing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Because say to. you force the inkling just because you don't want they don't want to get fared off stage or maybe even back here to just die. Mm -hmm. They'll up be on stage and so you're thinking, alright, great, I'm just gonna dash back F smash the landing. You don't do it's the hard to get the spacing. Yeah. It's hard to get the yeah, spacing. Yeah and then now. the splash landing hitbox just beats you out. Okay, nice flat bomb. Basically, we want to see some kind of conversion off of that. They want to get each other off stage and maybe start doing some ledge trapping. I think that's what both characters are looking for. Yeah, I know for sure Lucina has problems landing. So once she's in disadvantage, either on ledge or above, that's going to be pretty rough for her. But she's also one of the best at juggling in the game, and so she's going to be able to do most of the same things over to Inkling. Yeah, you can see like it's a little bit harder for Kimchi to get down right now. Although it is pretty good percent for roll or F smash, probably. Uh, when does it KO? Because I actually have no clue. <laughs> I just get if you're hit by, by the ledge and you're at 80 with an inkling with rage. Right you're now, done. it would for sure oh, yeah, it done. for sure kills. But I kind of just get hit by roller sometimes, and I think, all right, no matter, my, <laughs> no matter how hard I mash, I'm just kind of dead oh, if they yeah. know what they're doing. Yeah, high percents mashing doesn't really matter. All right, the bear. Back air. Okay, but that's good because, um, I mean, it's good for Kimchi because Valadin staling bear. That's like her main. See, look, that bear didn't even kill. Exactly. <laughs> that's so stale. Because now. <laughs> How is how is Vladimir gonna kill? See, yeah. side B pops out. Oh, but if you air dodge back in, in, yep, that's a that's a common mistake. Dancing Blade actually has a giant amount of end lag for the fourth hit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the air dodge just has that much more. It's because you don't expect to fall out. The Lucina's probably know because it's not consistent in a move. But well, one weird trap that you can do all through like four marts, right? Is if you know that the fourth one isn't gonna hit, because Dancing Blade sucks at connecting the fourth hit sometimes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Then what you do is you hit the three first. Like the four, uh, first three forward, and then you stop it, expecting them to do the buffered air dodge back in to just S smash. I see, yeah, yeah. You can even get a charged F smash that way. Yeah. Okay, so right now, look at the way that the Latin's controlling center stage. He's literally holding on to center stage and just throwing out aerial so Inkling can't get back in. Oh, did you see that? He actually reversed the Nair. Yeah, that was, yeah. And he got the knockback of Nair 2 is fantastic in this game. It's actually insane. You'd think that maybe Lucina, like Lucina obviously doesn't struggle to kill because at some point all, all hits will kill, but, but Nair 2 is kills off stage at a surge percent. Yeah, and right now it's looking actually pretty rough for him to KO. He hasn't been able to get any roller or much off stage pressure. See, I, he's getting these ledge traps. Hopefully not a little too late, but. With, I mean, these well, bears There's are no ink, right? There's so no when's ink. this bear gonna KO? Yeah. He usually inklings look for a roller or a fair or something, but uh. he's okay. Oh, this is good. Okay, parry F smash, pretty Fantastic good. Fantastic parry. Kimchi actually was talking to me a bit earlier, and he feels like he's been parrying a lot in this bracket so far. That's really good. And just yeah. playing friendlies with him earlier today, I thought we both were. Oh, that's but good. But he was parrying a bunch of landing aerials. You just gotta get a good read on when they're landing with aerials. Dude. But I haven't really seen him do it that much here, and against Lucina, it would definitely be great if you yeah. parry something like a landing fair, yeah. because then Inkling could go ahead and get her grab still started up. Honestly, it looks like this whole match is just defined by landing. Look at uh, Kimchi can't land, and then it's hard for him to and catch the back Valadin's air. landings. Yeah. All right, one zero Valadin. Yeah, and that yeah, was a little bit more one-sided than I thought it'd be. Yeah. Maybe stage to switch it up. Maybe. I don't know because PS2 gives you, gives gives uh, Lucina a lot of space to control. Well, right? if you saw Vladim, what he was doing a lot of right, he was just dashing back and forth underneath one of the side platforms, and eventually, once he would mix it up, he did a lot of stuff like just short hop in air, not fully going in, right? Mm -hmm. So we would mm -hmm. float in place a little bit with the snare. Kind of a bait. So that, yeah, kind of a bait, and a bunch of times Kimchi would actually just jump into it mm -hmm. because it lasts a long time. I think, although it looks like there's two hits. Lucina swings around, I think, three times to cover somewhere. I forget what it was exactly. Okay. Well, it like, certainly she might feels cover... like she's hitting three times with how long it's out. Yeah, it's pretty active, especially for her because most of her uh, 
frame data actually you know, isn't out for very long. Like, Fair is only active for about three frames. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, really good tech chase. Got him off stage. Again, the ledge trap is going to be uh, where he gets a lot of percent. Kimchi looking for bears. Unfortunately, gets off stage once again. And that stage control by Lucina is really hard to get back. Dude. It's really hard to get back. Yeah. Oh, oh up he rolled wrong way. I don't know what he was looking for there. Yeah. He he actually done that. What twice was that up But we're we're chilling. We're chilling. <laughs> no dude. We, punish. We, we take that. All right. I actually have no clue <laughs> what was going on there. This is when if Bobby Scar was commenting, he would be saying Toph! <laughs> or that's more. Did you see that? <laughs> Toph, did you see that? <laughs> that Toph for me was a little bit more Alex nineteen. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Did okay. you see the mango? Uh, I saw a little bit of the mango. Yeah, yeah. The, the commentary comms, there the was comms. so amazing. <laughs> uh, amazing is one word. <laughs> there are many other After words for it. I was much more entertained by the commentary than the actual oh. gameplay. Oh, of course. <laughs> Everyone wants. I mean, the low point was probably just when they started repeating the "Who wants it more?" joke. Oh I God. think here Kimchi kind of wants it, but Vlad really wants it. Uh, it looks Something like Vlad like kind of wants it. Uh huh. Oh, look oh, at the parry. I wanted See? that parry. Uh -huh. I wanted that. <laughs> And actually, Kimchi was talking about this earlier. He wants to set up splat bombs on the ledge on the ledge options. He just misspaced it so the splat bomb went off the stage. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe if he if he positioned them better, he'd be able to capitalize. But now he has center stage. Maybe he can get something off it. Maybe a kill. Yeah. Trying to convert. But this he's entire doing game, a good job. he's still been chasing, right? And so a lot of what Baladin's been able to do before he gets a hit is just throw out a couple aerials. In oh, did he? No, it's Inkling. He's fine, right? Uh, okay, you got lucky with the uppy hit. Yeah. The uppy hit, otherwise I think that would have been actually a good time to have smash. Oh, yeah. Which oh, look, a fair. Inkling fair, that's all you need. Yeah. All right, we're back in this. But uh, like I was saying earlier, right? If Aladdin was able to do a lot of work through just putting out uh, short hop aerials in place or slightly retreating, he did, I think, first an air, then retreating back air. Another fair. And then a forward air in place to maybe slight drift forward. Because I think at that point, Kimchi was sure that he would keep retreating. Mm -hmm. So he went in and met the wall. The wall. The wall. It's hard to get back, dude. It's hard to get back. Valen doing his best Trump impersonation. <laughs> Nobody builds beautiful <laughs> walls like I do. Look at how much Kimchi's brought it back. He was down 75%. Ooh. And he's still in it. I'm actually surprised the bear didn't KO, especially with 100%. Might have been staled again, right? Because it looks like he's relying on it in neutral, but then he also wants it to kill. You can't have both with staling. Well, yeah, but Lucina, if you're not edge guarding, right, then bear and F-Smash are the only ways you're going to kill. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, good down tilt. Yeah, it was an unfortunate up B, but he's back. Yeah. Overall, this is still close, because if he gets a roller, oh, yeah. then Lucina is definitely dead. And meanwhile, some like that... Oh, oh, look. Oh, oh wow. No punish. But, ah, that yeah. Bears in there. yeah, good raw bear. All right, let's see. He dropped the side bomb. I actually didn't watch him do it. <laughs> I just kind of saw something falling down. And as soon as I see something falling down that's like glowing a little bit red, I have snake flashbacks. Oh, yeah. No. You're like, please, no. <laughs> um, Valentin's doing well at at least making sure his presence is felt off stage. But he hasn't gotten anything this game compared to like the game one Nair off stage, right? Oh yeah, that, that, was, that killed really like eighty five or something. Yeah. But what okay, the good landing, but I mean, I guess it's still not like it's it's really hard to land against this character. Yeah, against disjoints in general. Yeah. Nair down tilt, really good pressure from from the Latin. Oh, okay, that's this a KO. It's a one hundred percent. If he avoids the important KO moves, yes. which would be something like back air, okay. which. <laughs> All but, right, commentator curse. But he, he did a really good job last stock. I think he can do it again. Inkling racks up percent like no other. Look at this combo. If he gets some ink on, then he can get some pretty good percent. Yep. Vladen, really smart for actually stopping that dancing blade. Because mm. after Kimchi had popped out, if he had done the fourth variation, then Kimchi could have gotten some like a dash grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inkling just needs some opening. And that's it. Yeah, the Nair too. All right, I got to check if I have a match. I actually didn't think that Nair was going to hit because it looked too high. Well, that's it for us. I'm Alfredo, and that was Jugia. I have to play Nico next, and I'm going to get shulked harder than I ever have before.